Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Lightroom just released another update to their software and introduced a new slider called Texture. Now, when I first heard the slider name, I was like, oh, interesting. You know, like, like I'm thinking textures and texture overlays and you know, giving a, a photo a, a canvas type texture. That's not what it's about. It's about adding detail into the midtones. And it actually works really well. Let me show you how it's going here with this, uh, this photo here. And in the basic panel, we now have a texture slider. So this is in Lightroom Classic CC. And let me just push this really far to the right here. So you can just gonna see this, this photo crispen up, right? Now it starts to feel like, oh, isn't that kind of like clarity? Well, watch what happens when we do clarity. We get much more contrast, right? It's really adding a lot of contrast. The thing's got too, too deep, too, uh, too dark in the, uh, in the shadow areas. Let's return that there and go back to that texture again. And it's just a nicer, more um, natural feeling addition of crispness, uh, some contrast, getting some detail to show up, like these waves become more detailed. Again, turning it off again, adding it back in. And that's really nice. And a bonus, this slider is available in all of the different filters. So let's reset texture to zero here, because for this photo, I really just want to do it with a graduated filter. So you have a new texture choice in the effect pop-up. Nice default amount there. I'll just drag a gradient up. And then as I adjust texture, I'm only affecting the lower part of the photo here. So if I hover there for a minute, this is where I'm putting the texture on the photo. And if I turn that off and on, notice the background's not changing, but the foreground is. It's getting that nice pop. So that's what the texture slider is. It's a new addition to Lightroom CC. Uh, check it out. It's really good for adding some crispness into mid-tone areas and doing it in a natural way. My name is Scott Davenport. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.